Good morning, everyone. Day two of our juice fast. I know I wanted to record yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to uh, make a decent video, so I'm going to try and put a small one together. It's only a morning juice, and what we're doing today is we're doing honeydew, apple, uh, lime, and that's it, right, Erica? Maybe a piece of ginger somewhere? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do this morning. And when you're juice fasting, uh, what you want to do is... Oh, yeah, Erica. Uh, when you're juice fasting, what you want to do is you want to have... Um, so for a woman, it's usually four 16-ounce juices. So this is what we're going to be... Uh, this is what we're going to be filling up. We're going to fill up two of those for me and Erica. And usually what I do is in the morning, I make it a fruit juice. Um, and honeydew is a great... Uh, thing to do because it gives a lot of water it holds a lot of water so you're going to get max amount of juice you always want to get stuff that's going to give you the max amount of juice otherwise uh, erica i'll just wash it it doesn't matter babe we're just going to put it on the in the Thanks, compost sir. yes you can start so you want to be able to get uh the max amount of juice so that's the fruit i know it's a little loud but that's the type of fruit you want to you wanna do. Uh, you don't want to do the berries because berries will just turn into pulp. So maybe I'm just going to record this and then... So there it is. It's that easy and that quick. I'm using a Breville. I'm using one of the fancier models. Uh, this one here uh, has um, this one here has the uh, a dialing where you can do uh, uh, harder vegetables go to five and softer you lower the number. Uh, it comes with a a container where you put your juice, and this is where uh, all the the pulp ends up going. Uh, now, what I always say is if you really want to maximize your juice, you could actually put all this pulp in a nut bag and squeeze it and you will get extra juice, which I might do, Eric, if you pull the nut bag out. Um, if, you, if it doesn't bother you, you could just discard this and put this in your garden or in the compost if you do city compost. But there you go. Beautiful, beautiful juices. Um, Really is not as expensive as some people think if you uh, if you buy and oh, we're using I you had, uh, and we're using paper okay. straws. Isn't that wonderful? These are the ones I bought. Uh, I just bought recently, and my daughter says they hold in a liquid all day long. Right, Erica? With water. With water, so that's pretty decent. With juice, it does you know. It does soften up a little more. Um, but it still does a trick. You're able to drink your juice and not use any plastic for the, that's going to cause havoc on our environment. So paper straws, if you can, or bamboo straws, I rather use the paper when I'm doing the juice because this way I don't have to worry about cleaning it. Um, clean my bamboo one. I just take this and dispose of it. But there you go. We might need a little extra juice. I think Erica will see. Just to show you how beautiful these juices really are. And what's good about, I'm not sure if you can see, uh, this lid, I want to show you, this is the Breville, has this extra piece here which holds back the foam. If you're not a foamy type of person. Uh, we don't care, so we're just going to squish it around yeah, and get it right into our juice. I don't care if we get foam, but if you want a clear juice, then leave the foam out. We might need a little extra juice for us. We will see. We should be good. The foam is just, it's just because it's, you know, spinning. Yeah. It's there we go. How beautiful are these? How beautiful are these the juices the with the honeydew in it? So it's that simple. So Lizzie, this is for you. You asked what kind of, what are my recipes? My recipes are very simple. We used about a quarter 
uh, a quarter of a honeydew, right? But we're making two juices. We're not just doing for one person. Yeah, this is for two of, of us. A quarter of a honeydew, four, apple, four green apples, a chunk of ginger, one lime, and that's it. that's it that's it so that's how simple that juice is then come the afternoon lizzie we're gonna make um we're gonna make a veggie juice or a green juice and basically that's either gonna be kale or romaine whatever we have uh I'm, we're not very picky when it comes to juices we're not like oh my god it's not gonna taste good we know that whatever we're gonna put in there it's gonna heal our body and it's gonna feed our body so we're not really into making uh some of our juices aren't always the best tasting juices. What's important is, is what it does for our body. But if you want to go for like the super duper delicious, you know, you always have to put some fruit in it. Otherwise, you're going to be tasting greens if you're not crazy about eating just greens. We don't care. But it really is up to you on what you want to do uh, with your juices. What's important is that you always put a little piece of ginger. Ginger is fantastic for uh, detoxing, uh, not detoxing, it's, well, yeah, it's good for detoxing, but it's good if you, ha it helps, uh, muscle pains or any kind of pains you have here in your body because it's an, um, anti-inflammatory. Uh, we always put in a little bit of lime so it helps keep color. Uh, if you don't put a citrus in there, uh, it might get a little gnarly on you, the juice, but we always do it. Plus it has a nice little tangy taste. Um, and that's it. And if you can, uh, especially the weather is going to start getting nice, or if you're going to do another one later on in the summer, you can do in the morning just watermelon. I even juice the rinds of a watermelon. I wash the watermelon really good, and I'll do, uh, I'll leave the rinds, and I'll add it to some of my veggie juices, because it's not as sweet. But yeah, there's so many things you can do. So anyhow, here's my juice. Very simple. And it's day two. We're feeling amazing already. I thought maybe we would have more of a nasty detox, but we're not having that I'm much of a... I'm feeling amazing, but... Well, I'm feeling good today. Yesterday I was grumpy. Asked my daughter. Was I grumpy? Yes. <laughs> I was not happy. Anyhow, but today I feel great. She still feels a little broken. It That's is what it is. Doing. And remember, the cleaner you eat, the easier your detox it is. But the last couple of weeks I was eating cookies something that I don't usually eat and I was eating a lot of them so boy did I pay for it yesterday yesterday I wanted to kill the world but that's okay we're we're not killing anyone today nothing we're using paper straws and we're making beautiful juices so there you go guys I hope you like this video and I'll see if I can sneak in uh, afternoon video for you guys and put that up too so have a good day happy juicing Take care of your body. You only have one body, guys. When that one breaks down, you can't change it for another one. Oh, by the way, I will be po uh, posting cooking videos also during, um, during my fast. Yes, I will be cooking while I'm fasting. I've done it before. I've always done it before. My husband has to eat. So I will be putting up... Uh, cooking videos for the ones that are not doing a, uh, a juice fast and I will be putting up some recipes for you like this one was very simple and uh, for the ones that, that are doing a juice fast with us don't forget I'm putting a link for my 30-day juice fast um, go there that's where we're gonna all hang out and talk about our aches and pains if we have any or the benefits when it starts hitting us. Day four, I can't wait. Day three, day four, I'm going to be running marathons. So there you go. So have a good day and take care of yourself. I'll see you in my next video. We love you and cheers. Cheers. Thank you. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.